Mm. So how do we be empathetic, right? Mm -hmm. But still own a piece of ourselves. And what I mean by that is, okay, I hurt your feelings, mm -hmm. right? But this was something that I wanted to do and I needed to do mm -hmm. for my people, right? This mm -hmm. is my perspective, right? How, how can the two coexist or can it? They don't have to coexist. People mm. don't have to forgive me. Right. Right. That's called radical acceptance. Mm -hmm. This idea that something happened, I can't change it, and it feels like this. But it looks like not this. them, though. Not the country. Well, forget them. How can it coexist within us, within you, within your, yourself? Oh, how can I reconcile that I did something that was that was not perfect? How can I stand on what I stand on, right? But mm -hmm. still be empathetic of if it hurts your feelings. But I meant what I, I what I did was from the heart. It was oh, from a genuine. Oh, if place. it hurts your feelings, is a, a, a fairly short season. Mm. Right when your mom burnt your finger by mistake while she was trying to pass you the cornbread, right? She said, "I'm sorry, baby." At dinner time, mm. you're not still thinking about that at Thanksgiving when she passes you the cornbread. You're taking the cornbread. Um, you don't. You, you, I'm not. I'm never gonna harbor over what happened in the past. Mm. As a matter of fact, my DM is filled with, "Man, I'm sorry I treated you that way." What I look like being like, well, F you. And so, no, I am still purposeful, peaceful, and impactful. Mm. And if you align with that, I have everything to give you still. Mm. So this, the reconciliation happened after the apology, and that was it. Okay. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. Okay. I asked that because... Mm -hmm. um, I asked that because... When you say it's like come off so apologetic, but mm. almost of like, like when you say it's a mistake, that's what got me. Honestly, I'm gonna keep it. It's not okay, getting so not when me. I talk to when men, you say a mistake, men it's like, always say this. Like I ain't like that. What, bro? I don't really, man. Yeah. I don't really. Okay, so okay, so give me your advice because because I'm female. Remember, I have a softness, mm. and that softness means that I'm going to nurture you. And if you seem wounded, I just I light up immediately. How can mm. I help? How can I fix it? It doesn't mean that I'm broken. It means that I'm empathetic, right? Okay. So empathetic is the right word. For sure. But a lot of times people mistake empathy for brokenness. I'm okay. Not, I'm not, and, and I get that a lot too. Okay. So I feel you. Yeah. You so you sensing that? Damn, she's over here broken over this ish. No, I I'm very comfortable still getting to bags. I still tour two days out of the week. I'm still mm. on the road. Um, I still buy nice things. Um, I still celebrate people in my family. I'm having a, a wonderful time, but I, I hear you because mm. people do people do ask me that often. Like, when you gonna heal from all of this? It's like, who said I wasn't healed? Okay. So what posture? What posture do you feel like um, looks like I'm okay? What does that look like? Uh, I don't know. I can't even give advice. Should I be like these? That's me. But no, you, you see, don't you, even look right. I will say that, but man. It, right? Don't even. That would be me for sure, man. You. Dude, I can't what. even pull that off. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's me. Man, y'all don't even know. First of all, talk about hindsight bias. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get back into the good conversation, but we let's be a little ignorant. Mm -hmm. That, bro. People are wishing that Trump was the president now. I'm going to bed. I'm like no kid. Like where's my back? You know, what? everybody I has shot. something to say. As soon as the man leave, they wishing he was back. Because they ain't understand what was going on. First of all, he said a lot of stuff. Like, we know that. Like, we, we can... Seriously. So you know people that wish Trump was back in office right now. What? This is, the bag is different for a lot of people now, especially mm -hmm. after COVID, right? Mm -hmm. People are saying different things. So their perspective is different. Like, damn, I hear people say, like, man, Trump was better than... You know the argument? Mm -hmm. At least Trump told us the truth. At least he told us... He wasn't hiding it. What's, what? I guess that's a perspective. Like he, he, he told us if he ain't like us, he told us right then and there. You got people who, who hide it, and, and and at least I know he's my enemy, right? Like something like at that. At least what? I know he's. My, wow. People say, wait, I know y'all hear the arguments. I ain't the only one. Come on. No, I'm really listening. So you ain't hear these conversations? You probably can't say that. You heard no, these conversations. No, I was. Right? All right, I ain't crazy. This, at I'm least, not making this up. Right, facts. People say like at least. He's going to tell me he don't like me in my face, right? He's not going to hide it, and, like hide his hand or something like that. People, I, okay. I no, I, I, I can understand that, but I, I, okay, let me say this. Let me say this, because this is not normal. Um, I preserve positivity. For sure. Like, and as soon as a, a conversation is moving in the direction that 
seems like it doesn't make much sense. Mm. At this particular juncture in my life, I don't have space. That's cocky. Congratulations. No, it's, it's not know, cocky. I don't mean to be rude, but I just like when stuff don't make no, I just be like, because the truth is, is that we live in a warped system. What you mean by that? So we live in a world's system. We live in a government that was created to keep us behaving. For sure. So to speak. Yeah. Right? Especially in the United States. The kingdom system does not function in that space. The kingdom system functions on you're already enough. You have everything it takes to be purposeful, impactful. You, you, there's a tribe that I've called you to. Like, there's so much purpose in the kingdom system space. And we out here trying to make sense out of this crazy-ass world. This world does not make sense. <laughs> so, I'll tell you. Go back to your question, right? We went ignorant a little bit. Go back to your question. Again, there's no advice, but my perspective would be, yo, it's like a relationship, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So it's things that I'm going to do that's going to hurt my woman. I'm it's listening. In, 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 inedible, right? Mm -hmm. I know who I am at the core. I love me. Right? Mm -hmm. I love the Lord, right? And I know the path that I'm going to be a, a better me, right? Yeah. But going through that path, I'm going to hurt some people's feelings. And I can apologize. I can acknowledge your hurt. And I can be empathetic. And I can be respectful. I can be all of that. But it's on you to forgive. I can't do that. Right. I have to forgive myself, right? The moment I forgive myself and I respect you and I'm empathetic to you, right? If you don't decide to, to forgive me, that ain't on me. You got to get right okay, with the Lord now. Okay, 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 so? okay. So <laughs> the question here is, has Chrisette forgiven herself for the foolishness that happened? Mm. I guess. I mean, I, but I'm not coming from it for you forgiving me. No, 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 because you, you, you just spoke to me. I don't think I have. Sheesh. Why not? Because how did I miss that? Miss? How did I miss that it was going to hurt people? Okay. Okay. How did I okay. miss that? Okay. This is, we won't go down the list of all of the reasons why this is a bad choice for president. Like, because yeah, it's the know. world system, it functions in the way it functions. We don't need to list that. Mm -hmm. But how did I miss that it was going to break so many people? I mean, Spike Lee had to hit me up. Quest Love had to hit me up. Like, people really, yo, Chris, are you crazy? Wait, this this Spike hit you up, though? Because, listen. On I, Twitter. Did he hit you up before? Because I think he took away, like, took you out of, of a movie or something like that? I wasn't in the movie. Yeah, song or something. He was, he was going through a lot. Right. This is me being this empathetic. Half, this, yeah. yeah. He was dealing with a lot of stuff. We we, we had a crazy president on our hands. <laughs> Man. So you yeah, know, a part of me, I love, I love what you. So maybe I need to forgive myself. Yeah. For, you know what? That's good. Cause I'm not. I'm just not being super. Bro, how dare you guys? It's a good rebuke. It's a good rebuke, it's just, Jay. Like, it's just I like how dare you guys? Take a shot. Like how dare you guys throw daggers at me? Mm -hmm. And look at how you responded. Like. Are, so, I'm a God friend man by mm -hmm. far, like, I, but I'm still flawed. I'm a mm -hmm. human. Mm -hmm. A man that knows anything knows he knows nothing at all, right? Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I go to church Saturdays, you know what I'm saying? I don't go to every Saturday, but I'm in church, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. bro, first of all, y'all got a nerve. People got so people are so quick to judge somebody when they got so many skeletons in, the, in their own closet. Mm -hmm. Like, who the fuck, excuse my language, but who the fuck are you to, to judge me when you got so much going on? I never and, thought about and it. And the like fact that. that people was just mm -hmm. like, Throwing stones, right? Who really came to you and said, yo, listen, let me hear you out, right? Before you start going online to look cool, because that was a good thing to do. That, that was a cool right, thing to I, do. Right, I was always curious why my celebrity friends so that's corny. Didn't, te didn't text me. That's the definition of oh, corny. Where, where are you from originally? New York. New York. What part? Long Island. Long Island, right? Mm -hmm. So you're from New York. You understand. I'm from Baltimore. Scratch religion. Let's put that to the side, right? Mm -hmm. If you're really from the streets or wherever, right? Mm -hmm. That's just stand up, bro. Like that's you're going standard. to the internet to, to talk about me, bro. You got my number. What are you talking about? That this was is for very anybody. Strange. No, period. you're not lying. That was very strange, and and these people have my phone number. That's I actually had shit. honored Spike Lee a few months before that um, at Lincoln Center, like in black and white clothes. Listen, man. So he he was it was yeah. I, I like this though. And, and that's why I, that's why when I'm, I'm I, I look at it differently and, and, and we can get we ain't even get to the, the crux of the matter. Right. We're just having a conversation because I still have opinions about the other side of it. But mm -hmm. I'm a Gemini. So that's just who I am. I just feel like starting off. at Right. Yeah. Yo, who are you guys? To, the way they were like canceling you, whatever the case may be. Right. Mm -hmm. I imagine they stood with you. I'm, imagine if you imagine if you heard me out. Right. Like imagine yeah. if you did that. I ain't talking about the, the general population. 
They sure. go, they stay. They gonna move where the majority move. That's they gonna so do. So which that. population you talking? I'm about? I'm talking about the people you you claim that's friends. That claim they there for you. That that that, that you cl- that they claim love you. Yeah. Like so when you again when you ask me, my perspective is like, yo, I made a mistake. Um, at that point, I don't know. It could have been a bag. It could have been for multiple reasons of why you did it. Right. Mm-hmm. It could have been your reason what you said. Mm-hmm. Could have been what I said. Exactly. And that's and, and, and that's OK. <laughs> and even if I don't agree with that, I have to understand that I got to we can agree to disagree. Right. Mm-hmm. I think the core of the conversation for me outside of that, though, is do you think and, and this is like I love I'm a big Kanye West fan. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I had to look at Kanye West and say this. I think with the slavery is a choice thing. Mm-hmm. I think he was irresponsible with his platform. That's what I'm now, saying. Now, that could have been the mistake, being irresponsible with your platform, but that's that doesn't take saying. away from your intentions, though. Right, but it does. That's that's the issue, and that's the issue of being high profile, mm. is if you're high profile, you use your platform for what makes sense for the people who support your platform. For sure. That's that's the, but I love, this. you just get, I like, I like rebukes because they, they, they steer you. Imagine if Chrisette forgave herself mm. and stopped holding on to the posture of, damn, I really fucked that up. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I'm like I'm at the crux of about to release new music. Mm-hmm. Finally, it took me a minute to release music from the heart space. I'm about to to, to go out on a tour, which is called the soft life circle. Mm. Like the whole idea of softening to who you really are. And I should enter that that next space of my life without regrets so i think what you might sense is fuck i regret that shit mm. maybe i don't even know how to word it but if that's what it is maybe yeah i mean i'm i'm hearing your energy more than your words and i think that that's what you might sense but and, but just me being understanding right let's go back to i can understand that because like you probably was at like the top of your career i wasn't you wasn't Mm-mm. you wasn't. no i've never been more famous than i am now okay that shit blew me up Okay. Well, yeah. People from country. For people sure. from countries I have cannot pronounce was calling my actual cell phone. Yeah, I believe. I mean, I. Always, I have more streaming now than I've ever had. Trust me. So when you they say like me. negativity sells or whatever it is, it does. <laughs> I was like, guys, I'm not even famous enough to be canceled. No, no. Canceled. bro, canceled. no cap. Canceled. No facts. Facts. The whole world heard me say that. No shit. caps. Like it's like I feel like in. in I was a, like, cancel you, lie. Bro, I, this, I sing so I sing so I play the piano. Mm. Like who cancels a piano player? Yeah, like I, I think that was crazy. I just oh, that cancel shit. So no, I wasn't at the top. I was just, I was just singing. I was just being a singer. Okay, so oh maybe I don't understand what the top is. Maybe that that concept fails me. But I didn't feel like I was. Sp- Special, if that makes sense. Mm. But after I was like, y'all done enough of me to put this much energy into canceling me. I gotta go back and recalibrate. I might be a pretty big damn deal. Mm. I promise you. Yeah. I promise you, I had never thought of myself as a big deal before that. For real? I mean, I mean, you had some pretty Period. big moments though. Like, I mean, like you got one song that like people. Play at their weddings or something like that. A couple of forevers, bro. It got like fifty some million views on YouTube now. That's probably a different video. You probably got way more than that. Yeah. You no. ain't think you was a big deal? Come on, cut the shit. You ain't, you just, Cause what's a big deal if it's not impactful? Right? Like you know how many people's songs you know that you'd be like, who's the artist that sings that? You know what I mean? Like I just never felt like I was making the impact that I wanted to make. I always wanted people's hearts to change. Like, people to have heart shifts, people to feel me in their soul. You bullshit. I'm dead serious. No, bro. You can make somebody heart change and they don't know your name. It's a song right now called Birthday Chick, right, by Trap Beckham. I know him because I know the guy, right? Mm -hmm. But he changes people's, he creates moments for people around the world that probably don't even know him. That's, you need to. You can you be my motivational coach? What I'm the hell? Not, no, I'm Is not it, trying to motivate you. Yeah, I'm just being real. I'm just being you know real. Like I'm just being real. Like he's like he changes people. More. I can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take communion. God, I just, I just name of the Father and Son and go. Uh, man, I really ain't getting my bag because he said something about Thanksgiving. You talking about you church and God, but whatever. That's another conversation, but. 
But they um, told you you was a preacher. No, 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 no. You heard that before. No, nah. I y'all heard people say like you gonna be a preacher when you get over some shit like that. But no, nah, but back to I feel like okay, it was. I can understand him. I said, but what I, was, what I was saying was, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you lost a lot, or it felt like you lost a lot in that moment. It felt it, it felt like I lost a lot to my team. Right. It felt like I couldn't understand. Guys, we have money in the bank. Right. Like we can live off of that for a really long time. Right. So why see, are we panicking? So I see how it could be a little regretful. Mm-hmm. Like I understand. Like I've lost opportunities that to this day still hurt. What I regretted was losing the people's like trust. Mm. That was painful. Cause you sing, you sing to people and their children. You sing out what, like you sing to p- humans. Mm-hmm. And I feel like when somebody comes to a concert, like they trust in you with their vibe. Mm-hmm. To lose that trust, that that hurt the most. I could, but that's why I say I could see how being, but I could see yeah. how it could be regretful. Like y'all regret yeah. that moment because it came with a lot. Yeah. So I don't want yeah. you to think I'm being insensitive because I do mm-hmm. understand yeah. that feeling. No, the I money just, part wasn't. That's that because <clears throat> you can go into a different business. There's many ways. If you if you have the heart of, if you have the power to get wealth, you can get wealth wherever you feel powerful. Facts. Mm. But I, but even a little bit, you might have felt like you lost the, your power there in that moment. Not right mm-hmm. now. I didn't feel like that. Never. No, I felt like that about the music business. I felt like all right, that's it for music. <laughs> what are we gonna do now? Okay. Let's bring this power Reword somewhere else. That. Maybe you felt like you lost the power in the music. Oh, absolutely. But that's a lot when you said you came into the game with a million. We can't ignore that. That's that you could not saying you did, right? But mm-hmm. one could feel like they lost themselves if they lost the power of the music because you just said, bro, I walked into the game getting signed for a mill. That wasn't my power. I was mm. powerful and that's why I made a mill. Mm. The, the million didn't make me powerful. So you always felt like, well, shit, yes. I was done with music, do something else. Yes, absolutely. But I question. Sheesh. No question. Give me $20, I'll make whatever you need me to make. I got 20 right now. I could I could, I could, double it. Nah, I need a little more for more. Double. Soft, the softlifecircle.com. People can invest in that? They can go buy tickets to my tour. Oh, wow. Like any moment, ask me to make money and I will. Oh, wow. That's just that's just who we are as people if we trust ourselves. No, I was trying to make a play though, but you, I was trying to like, give you some money so you can make me some more money. That's what I was trying to do. But you said you wasn't gonna give it to me. I mean, twenty. I mean, I want a little more than twenty. You feel me? I probably gotta give some more money. What I'm explaining to you is that at I'm joking. Any, you, she, at, she's serious. I'm joking. Any time, bro. All right, say less. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a couple dollars. I'm gonna ask everybody here for twenty. You gonna give me like any time, bro? All right, say less. All right, Dang. Now, now see, my ego comes alive when you talk about money. There we go. That's but not, again, I, I can see how it could be regretful. Like, I, I I can see that. I understand, and I don't think that's a. I don't. I think that's a fair feeling from it though. I think so too. I think it's a good I think so too, but I think it's time to get get rid of it, right? Like mm. I have this whole tattoo philosophy. I'm t- I have a lot of tattoos, and the philosophy is no regrets. Mm. That's what you say when you get every tattoo. So I, I need to I need to apply that to to life. 